What's going on everybody? Matt Wasik here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a brand new video. I'm a little bit tardy to the party, so to speak, when it comes to this topic, which is what happened with bulk ad URL and basically just indexing services as a whole. I've not looked around for anything like that. So that's a disclaimer. I only use that one particular service, but then I basically realized, well, why do that? Why not just go straight to the source, which would be Google Search Console and actually requesting Google itself to index the pages of my sites that are not getting indexed. So I want to also discuss a few different ways and tips on how you can further enhance the indexing of your pages, because I know a lot of you guys either use City Page Pro or you use Magic Page Plugin or some other builder that builds a lot of pages and you have to wait a long time for all the pages to get indexed. So I want to share with you how you can set up getting your pages indexed and also some things that you can do on your site that'll help with essentially enticing Google to want to index your pages. Because oftentimes if Google sees things are basically the same thing over and over and over again, they're not going to want to index it. So let's hop into my computer and take a look at all this. So as you can see here at bulkadurl.com, the service is completely turned off. And while that is a bummer, it was a really good service. I liked using it. It is what it is. Like I said before, things change all the time. That's, that's what occurs when you're working online. If you want a business that doesn't ever change, then I would suggest taking your business offline. But even today's day and age with tech and everything and apps and everything that's changing, even offline businesses that have been the same for decades are starting to change a bit. But either way, you have to adapt and overcome. So essentially what I would highly suggest doing is just going and connecting your site to Search Console. So the best ways to do that is to go get some type of Google Analytics plugin that allows you to set up and connect your site very seamlessly without having to add code or anything like that to your site. There are a few out there. And then use Google Analytics as your verification method to register your site into Search Console. So if you've never accessed Search Console, what you wanna do is just go to Google, type in site, colon, and then your website, and then click try Google Search Console, and then it's gonna prompt you to log in. And being as this is the Champlin Outdoor site, this is already claimed and everything's all set up and ready to go. But if this is something brand new, you'd have to verify, and that's where you'd wanna have Google Analytics connected. It may take a little bit of time for the Google Analytics tags to get added to your site, but once they're on, then you can claim this, and then it'll take a few days for this information to all propagate but then you're going to have all the data that you need. So you can see all the links that have been built to your page. You can see how many pages are currently indexed. You can see how many clicks have been coming through and a whole host of other information. And so now when it comes to actually getting your pages indexed, let's say we just built a new page here on the Champlain Outdoor site, and it's this mosquito page. Now this page has been indexed for many, many months now, but let's just say that we just built this page and we need to get Google to hurry up and crawl it so we can get it indexed and get it ranked and get some traffic. So you, what you wanna do is you basically just take the URL, copy it, come back over here to Google Search Console and you're gonna inspect it right here in the top search bar. So you're gonna paste in that URL, click enter, and it'll retrieve the data. And because obviously this page is already indexed, it is indexed. But if you're building a new site or you have these new pages, what's going to state right here is that the URL is not on Google. So what you'd wanna do is click request indexing. And it may still take a few days for Google to crawl the site, but then once it does, chances are if it likes what it sees, your page will get indexed and show up somewhere in the search results, ideally nice and high if you follow the MVP method. Now, one thing that you may encounter, especially when you're building a bigger site, whether that is a City Page Pro directory, a statewide or region-wide Magic Page plugin site, or if you're building a site for your own business or it's just a lead gen site, but you're building out City Plus service pages, you may encounter occasions when the pages do not get indexed even after requesting one time. So sometimes you have to request multiple times in order to get Google to finally index the page. And I've encountered this with some client sites where built out some City Plus service pages, which if you're brand new to the channel, essentially those are pages that are super optimized for usually one particular service or one broad term service in one specific city, usually outside the main headquartered city. For example, with the Champlain site, it's headquartered in Champlain. Let's say we wanted to branch out to Anoka. Then we build out a page. It's all about Anoka MN landscaping. And when building those pages, you got to have unique content and a few other things that I'll cover here in just a second that will help with Google actually liking what it sees in terms of the bots and actually getting it to index and showing up in the search results. So the first thing that you'd want to do is make sure you have unique content on those pages. So what I would highly suggest doing 
is using Spintax. So if you're using City Page Pro, Spintax is enabled. If you're using Magic Page Plugin, Spintax is enabled. And if you're doing this manually for a client's website or if it's your own business's website, then just use, just go to Google, type in Spintax, hit the first search result. It's just a free article spinner. You're gonna have to invest a little bit of time into building and writing the article that's gonna be Spintax enabled. It is very time consuming to do, but you get out what you put into it. If you go and invest a good amount of time into creating Spintax enabled articles, you have enough content to build hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of pages for that one specific niche or one specific service. And then that spinner will spit out a unique article which you can add to each and every single page. And then as soon as that page is published, you come over here to console and ideally your site's gonna have trust and authority, maybe even some traffic coming to it. And then you inspect the URL, request indexing. Within a couple of days, Google should crawl it and then it should be indexed very shortly as long as you got traffic and authority built into that site. Another thing that you wanna add is some alt tags to your images. You can use the same imagery, but I would highly suggest changing up the alternate text and even the title. And if you're adding a caption, then you can certainly do that as well. I know some people will say to use different images or use different image names, geotag them, all that sort of stuff. I've used the same files on multiple pages multiple times. They still get indexed just fine, but if you really are getting nitpicky, then you can certainly do that if you want. If you want to just get the job done and that's it, then changing up the alternate text to basically just change, to just reflect what that city name is, then that should be good to go in most cases. Now the next step is to continually request indexing until it gets indexed. But make sure if you're doing these requests and they're not getting essentially accepted or they're getting denied, then you're gonna have to go back to the page and change things up a little bit. Maybe change up the content, change up different design aspects, different things, just make it look a little bit different than what the previous version was because obviously Google bots did not like it and that's why they didn't index it. So that's what I got for you here in this video, just a quick one. I know I'm a bit, I'm like two months late on the closing down of bulk ad, but hopefully this gives you some good insight on how you can get pages indexed and get traffic to your websites, get conversions coming in, whether that is for your own business or you're doing local affiliate marketing, lead gen, and routing that to a company that's gonna pay you for generating that particular lead. So if you liked this type of video, be sure to go down below, smash that like button. And also if you want to stay up to date on my journey and all the content that I share here on my channel, be sure to go down below, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications so you know when all the newest content comes live. And if you'd like to get guided step-by-step -step training how to build websites from scratch, rank them in the organic search results and monetize them with a local affiliate or a lead gen offer, there's a link right down below to my course where you can get access to that guided step-by-step -step training and coaching and a whole lot more. So I'll see you guys in the next video.